Today we're going to look at Site Origin as the framework. Editing pages in Site Origin is a little bit different than Divi, but it allows us a little more flexibility in some other areas. One of the big reasons why ILGM likes using it is because you can use templates or even custom designs and themes that Divi can't and it'll help keep your page looking fresh and clean and different from everybody else's. So let's take a look at how to edit a page. We're just going to look at the services page of this particular website and we're going to look at how to edit these blocks of code. So the first thing you want to do is you'll want to log into your dashboard. You want to head over to your pages and then you want to go ahead and find the services. And from here, you'll see how Site Origin is laid out into individual blocks instead of your typical WordPress shortcode in HTML. So in this particular case, what we have is we have the page heading, which you'll see up here. Then you will have, these are called breadcrumbs, that's built in. Then you have the individual blocks. In this particular case, we have an image on the left and text on the right. Then we have a divider we have text on the left and image on the right and so on. So let's say that we wanted to change this image in this text. We're going to come over here. This is where the image would be. So we'd select edit and then we would choose media and then we would select one out of the list. Let's go ahead and select this one. We'll hit set media. So it changed it. There's a small thumbnail there. We'll leave it at that same size. But you have a variety of different options of what size you can keep it to be. And then we'll go ahead and hit done and update and you'll notice that image has changed. So we swapped it out with that one. So let's go ahead and put that back and then let's edit the text. So we'll come back over here, we'll select our image go ahead and hit done and then underneath this block we'll go ahead and hit edit and now we have the text editor and you can go in here and edit just like you normally would. When you're done, hit done, then hit update, and then you can reload again. So it's, it's that pretty simple. If you'll notice that I have images we don't usually tag, but right here you can see where it says, let us take care of you. That's gonna correlate with the block of text. This is a divider, so we call it a divider. We have year-round caretaking, so this one says year-round caretaking. It's pretty much that simple and that easy to work with. Let's say that we want to go ahead and add a whole other block here. We want to go ahead and add another set of services. So the first thing that I would do is I would duplicate the divider. Now, these are containers inside of the row. The blue is the road, the white where the modules are at are, are the individual blocks. So we need to duplicate this whole row. So we'll come over here over the wrench. We'll hit duplicate row. And then from here, we can drag the whole row below that last set of block of content. So that's done. We want the image on the left because this one has it on the right. So we're going to duplicate this whole row here. Going over the wrench, we'll hit duplicate row. So there it is. We'll take and drag it down to here. Then we'll come over here and select a new image. Let's go find us a, an image to, to use. So we'll come down here, we'll use the guy with the fish. We'll hit done. So that we change the image. Now let's go over here and hit this and add this new service. So instead of summertime services, we will call fishing and guiding services. And then in here, you can do the same. And then hit done and hit update. And we'll have this brand new text of block or block of text, I'm sorry, right below there. So we'll hit update. And now we have our divider, our image, and our new service that we've added. We want to remove a service. We just come over to our page. We mouse over the wrench. We hit delete row. It says, are you sure? You say yes. We come over here. We hit delete row. We say yes. And it's gone. And we hit update. And we hit reload. 
Now let's say that we want to put a full row of text down here. So we would come back here. Let's go ahead and duplicate our divider. We'll drag it down. And now we'll just go ahead and hit Add Row up here. And it defaults to 50-50. We're going to change the columns to 1 and say Insert. So it added our row up here. So we have to drag it down to the bottom. And then we have to put the kind of module in it that we want. So from inside here, we'll hit Add Widget. We'll go ahead and make this the Site Origin Editor. And we'll hit Edit. There's our WYSIWYG editor, and now let's add some text. There's our text. We'll hit Done. We'll hit Update. And it will hit Reload. So now we've added the text to the bottom. So let's go back and modify this a little bit more. So we'll come down here. We'll just make sure that we give it a, uh, a something that we understand. So we'll give it a title. We'll call it Disclaimer, and hit Done. But one, let's say that we want to change this into two blocks. So we'll come over here to the wrench. We'll hit Edit Row. Instead of one, we'll give it two. We can do it 50-50, so we'll hit Done. We'll go ahead and duplicate, and we'll drag and drop it right over into that side, and we'll hit Update. Come over here and hit Reload. Now we have two blocks of text, but maybe we don't want it two, maybe we want it three. So again, edit row, change it to three, hit done, duplicate, drag and drop, hit update, and reload. So now we have three. Let's say that we want two, but we don't want them even. So we'll come over here and delete one. We'll hit Edit Row. We'll change this to two. Hit Done. Oh, it didn't delete it. There we go. So now we have two. But if we want, either from the Edit Row screen, we can go to the center. We can drag either direction. Or we can type it in, say 25 and it'll automatically do 75. We can do 33. It'll automatically do 67 and say done. Or we can come over here and we can drag it from the center until we like the width that we want and hit update and hit reload. And it will change it however we want.